You lure her and she believes you because she's just a small child who wants to know God. She comes to your church. You disvirgin her and give her 100 naira. And then the love that the pastor showed to her, he no longer wanted to see her. And then forced her to even commit abortion. Six months, I mean, that is like murder. And what did happen to this girl? He sent her crazy. You know, she couldn't take it. She's a human being. Little girl, she had not fallen in love before. Mm -hmm. I mean, your pastor is like your God. And he, he thinks he did her the honor of sleeping with her. Abandoned her with 100 naira. She was in Ogun State University. She could not continue. She went mental, mad, for 13. 12 good years. 12 or 13 years. Until she met... Pastor Bingbe, could you just quickly tell us exactly how did you meet her? Um, it was from neighbors from Felele area in Challenge, um, Ibadan, that brought her to us when they heard about the ministry. That they, she was a girl that grew up with their children in, on the, in, uh, at the neighborhood. And when they see her, they were always very full of sorrow in their hearts, seeing their children's age mates, you know, parading the street mad for so many years. So when they watch a program on television and they believe God was doing wonderfully well. So they brought her on their own. And then since then she's been with us and within a week or two god revealed and uh, gave us a revelation to knowing the problems that was hanging in her heart mm -hmm. the truth that was trapped mm -hmm. and then she called she told me okay i told you when i started this program that those of you who are mothers who are sisters who even have wives be careful how you abandon them in the hands of some wolves the, the en enemy can enter the pastors anytime I'm not saying every pastor, but this is a pastor and it's on record. And she's sitting here alive because God touched the heart of another apostle to deliver her from um, what uh, she went through. We have the story, um, I, I like this young man. Tell, do you know the story of uh, Antitae? Yes, I do. Okay, so tell <laughs> us the story of Antitae. Um, well, Antitae used to be... Uh, Notorious madman. That is this Antitaye sitting here. Yeah. Yes, okay. Well, the one in yellow uh, uh, Ashoka, yes? Yeah, and she used to be very, very wild, but God used her mom mm. to rehabilitate her, and today she's, well, she's normal. And looking at her right now, you can never say she's the person <laughs> she used to be before. Mm -hmm. Because so she she cooks. She cooks our breakfast, lunch, dinner. She does. Let us speak for herself. She's she funny. <laughs> she's friendly. She's peaceful. She hardly shouts. She's mm -hmm. hardly. She she hardly gets angry. Mm -hmm. As in, for, she's like a total opposite. But the, the doctors, the doctors in a, a pardon then in U, UCH yeah. said that. It would be dangerous to even have her at a psychiatric like, yeah, yeah. hospital. Yeah, yes. yeah really. It's not, really, from the whole experience, it's not really about the drugs or her burning. It's all about love. It's all they need. Because mm. really, her case convinced me that really we don't need any drugs or anything. Mm. Because we virtually, she, we didn't use any drugs on her. They didn't give her any drugs. It was just petting. How anything she wanted, she got. And we time. In the word of God. Just mm -hmm. like that. Mm just became normal so mm. i think it's love that they didn't have at the hospital oh i know i was mad mm. but i don't know what prompted the madness mm. but i thank god that it is a testimony god has healed me mm -hmm. this is antitaye my sister i'm an This is this is high here. 
to Pastor Esther. Tell us about Pastor Bingwe and this, you know, there are some things which we will not be able to show. Tell us about it because these little girls are saying she saved my mother. This one says she was raving mad and all that. How did she get to move these people? To God be the glory for a time like this. God raising a woman like her. She's just a reflection of Jesus Christ. Just as the Bible says in Acts 10, 38, that how God anointed Jesus, he went about doing good. The same love of God that located this woman he has seen today in her own affliction is the same love she is demonstrating, touching life. What happened to her is where she gained her strength, and she's using it to win soul back to God. All these people have this beautiful thing to say about you because you take them in like your own. We're really not preaching, but... She said you had an affliction. Were you mad sometime yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I had a great depression. If you are a woman and then you suddenly lose the, your husband, you lose your family, you, you lose your friends, you lose, friends, you lose your business, you lost everything that, is, that matters to life to, and living, sanity and um, dignity. What's left, left to you? And is then that you, that you go and commit suicide or you go? Yeah, and suicide is a sign of madness. And even if, if God is not giving you the grace to live, you mm. even want to die. There was no death. I was, there was a time I was knocking my head mm. on the wall. Death was not coming. So if death wasn't coming, what would I do? <laughs> so the natural thing is just keep willing. Why? Why me? Wants to know you as Her Majesty the Queen Amina of uh, beggars and all that and all that. Yeah. And uh, you used you had this uh, humanitarian organization too, where you were caring for beggars on the streets. Mm. At that time, did you know that you would be called to heal mad people? No, my sister's life was sweet now. You remember who I, who I was now. I was mm -hmm. out there. I was, mm -hmm. a, I was there. Everything they were doing, the what I was doing. I never really, my father was a pastor. My mother is a pastor. I grew up in a mission house, but I never had interest in Christ. I never really discovered him. So all I was doing was I was just doing because I had the love of my neighbor at heart. And that was it. But I didn't know, and that was what connected me to Christ. You understand? So at that time, I was crowned Queen Amina by the Aousa community because they saw how I took interest in the street beggars. And of course, you know that most street beggars were Aousas, about whatever, mm -hmm. the larger percentage of them. But it was actually an honor conferred on me because I was showing mercy. And the truth of the matter is, if the poor could honor me in the world to make me their queen, it means heaven accepted the offering of my service to the poor. And that's why heaven too has crowned me to become the wife of the Most High God. <laughs> okay, okay. Even as God gives you enablement to hmm. heal the man hmm. and get them back into society, so know that there's somebody that is watching that can join you. Hey, I just want to talk to you, not because I want to pray with you, and not because I want to think um, you want to be blessed. All I want from you is to right there, turn to become a God lover. It says, if the way of a man pleases God, he will make even his enemies to be at peace with him. What is against you? What are the enemies of your life? Love God today and give all back to God. Beyond your tithes. God, he wants you to give your whole self to be able to recover others. And as you join hands to touch these ones. According to Isaiah 58, verse 10 to 12, he said, if you feel satisfied, the afflicted, so say, then shall your life break forth. As you connect, begin to break forth. The Lord that break forth for me will break forth for you. The Lord that shed light and cause me to shine again will cause you this same year you will shine. Connect. Mm -hmm. By touching lives, God will be there for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We bless you. We are back in the camera. Amen. For long life. Amen. And prosperity. Amen. Amen. But touch. Jesus. Come touch. Amen. Touch. Amen. Ba 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 Thank you, everybody. Thank you. And if you want, yeah, share this cake with me. And then, Motija, Sodo, Jesu. And then you sing, I colo for Jesus. Ah! I colo for Jesus. I colo for Jesus. I colo for Jesus. Give your money to save your life. I colo for Jesus. If you follow for Jesus, I call for you Jesus. will love your neighbor. I call for me, Jesus. I don't call for Jesus. I call for Jesus. Call for God. Whoa. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>